Hey, what's up everybody? Robert here, and I'm gonna show you really quickly a few cool things that you could do with Hubcart AI. Now, this is the Hubcart widget. This is where you could really fine tune your AI creations and create some amazing content, video content, image content, and we're going to first start off creating a print on demand design. This is the first thing I want to do for you. It's very simple. We're going to start off lightweight. And then by the end of this, your mind will absolutely be blown. I promise you that there is stuff in this video that you have never even imagined could be possible by AI, that a computer could do this stuff. It is going to blow your mind, but we're going to start off with the light stuff just with a print on demand design. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in over here on the text to image tab. This is where you're gonna type in some text and you're gonna get an image. And there's a lot of settings here that we get, we could fine tune this and do some really, really cool stuff with it. But to start, I just wanna type in a simple prompt, 1960s Corvette, I am a car guy. I used to own a Corvette, a newer Corvette, and I love the 60s Corvettes. And so I'm going to type in 1960s Corvette. We're going to create a t-shirt design or a mug design or, or a canvas print design of a Corvette. Now, in order to do that, we have to make sure that we have keywords because our AI has been trained to listen for certain keywords. And when those keywords are used, it will create the type of design that we want. So right now it just says 1960s Corvette but it doesn't know what we want. Does, do we want that to be a realistic photograph? Do we want it to be a, a portrait um, or a painting? Do we want it to be uh, you know, a, a t-shirt design? That's what we want. We want it to be a t-shirt design. So I have some save styles over here and I'm gonna choose the one called POD design with negative. And that's gonna give me my prompts that I need for my POD design. And then it's also gonna give me my negative prompts. And I, I pre-save those myself and we have those uh, for you available within the Hubcart system. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Generate. And it takes about two seconds to make an image. And we can see the first image that it gave me is right here. Now, I don't have to accept the first image. The first image is just you know a sample of what it's going to throw me out. And uh, it's not even the highest quality. You can see it's really blurry here. And we can upscale it. We can remove the background. A lot of cool things we could do here. Uh, but I'm going to pick a better image than this one. Let's go ahead and generate four of these at a time. I'm going to drag this dial to give me four of these at a time and uh, click generate again. And it takes about two seconds to generate one. So it takes about eight seconds to generate four. So let's give it that eight seconds. All right. Now it has given me my images. We have four of them here. I click on this uh, first one and it shows me all four of them in a grid. And I really like this layout right here. And this is actually a good looking design overall. I really, really like that one. Uh, this one is, is good as well. I didn't, I don't like this thing in the background. We could probably remove that, but I like, I like just the car. This one's got this weird little fin, you know, it's like flying through the air. So it's got that like fin coming off the back, but it looks like it's part of the car. It looks a little weird. And this is a good one. This is a nice clean one as well. Um, what I want to try to do is Let's see if we could remove the background off of this one. If we could remove the background off of this one, I think that that red glow would look really good on a mug. So let me show you another feature of Hubcart AI. Uh, we have AI that will automatically remove backgrounds. So I'm gonna click on this image that I want here. And I'm gonna go ahead and send this over to extras. And over here in extras, I'm gonna click on where it says remove background. I'm gonna choose one of our AI brains and I'm gonna choose the U2 net. This one does, does really well. And I'm just gonna click on generate. And let's see what it does. Okay, it did exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to leave the red circle and the background here. Sometimes it will remove that as well and just leave the vehicle or the item that we created. Um, this looks good. I like this. This has a nice little glow to it. Looks really, really clean. Now, there's several different things we could do to this right now. Um, what I want to do is I actually want to upscale it. I need, I need to upscale this because it's small and I want to use it for print on demand. You can see that it's really blurry. And so we want to make it a little bit better. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to this upscaler and I'm going to go ahead and click on one of them. I like uh, this one here. So I'll just go ahead and select that one. And we'll leave that resize by at um, four. We'll do it four times. That gives us a 2000 pixel image. And so I'm just go ahead and click on generate here and it's going to go ahead and give us the image again. 
And now that image is done, we have the background removed again, but it's much larger and it's much crisper. It's a lot, lot cleaner. The lines are a lot cleaner. And so we're going to go ahead and stick with this one. All right. So I'm going to use that for a print on demand design. I can go over to Hubcart and put it onto a mug or t-shirt, a canvas print or some other item. All right. That was great. Came out perfect. That was very easy. We did that in just a matter of minutes. We can do that automatically with API. We could automate this to where we're automatically generating images, upscaling them, removing backgrounds and having them ready to put on print on demand items within Hubcart uh, within the hub. So really cool feature there. Let me just show you another feature. Let's start over. All right. Now I want to show you something really cool where we could make unlimited mockups from an original mockup. And so we have our original mockups that are automatically created, but say you wanted something specific, something that is specific for your particular niche. So like here we have this plain old background and we have this girl here uh, that just looks like just a normal little lady and she's got this space shirt on. And we really wanna bring out the space shirt into its, we wanna, we're gonna highlight in its context, right? Maybe like a galaxy in the background and make her look futuristic. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the original image in the image to image tab, because again, this is an image and we want to start with an image and in the image to image tab, we're going to come down here and there's these other tabs down here. What do we want to do with this image? We want to in paint it. We want to in paint this image so that we're going to create something else in this image and AI is going to do it and it's going to look natural and real exactly as we want. So I'm going to bring up my little dial here because what I want to do is I want to get a good little area of her shirt we'll come right down here we'll just get pretty much the whole shirt and maybe part of her bottoms and just come up here cut out the neck it doesn't have to be perfect and we'll just leave it just like that all right then what we're going to do is we're going to tell ai what we want to happen we want this part to to be kept basically be kept but we want it to really blend in with the rest of the image. So I'm going to bring this up to, we'll just go with like a 15 to start. And what we want in the background, we have to tell it. Um, but we have to first tell it what we want to paint. So right here we have the, the paint um, you know, on the shirt that we want to keep. We have to tell it down here. It says mask mode, in paint mask. No, we don't want the masked part to be in painted. We want the part on the outside to be in painted. So we're going to say in paint, not masked. That's the set, the setting down here that we're going to set and we're not going to do anything else. Now back up here, let's tell it where we want it to go. So let's put it in like a, uh, let's put this, put the shirt on a, or actually no, make her, make her cyberpunk. Let's do that. Let's make her cyberpunk can't type right now and futuristic and um, make the background a galaxy and we're gonna want purples purples reds oranges oranges let's see if that gives us what we want we'll start right there now we we still need to put in our specific keywords to let it know that we want this to be realistic and extremely photorealistic, basically, because we're starting off with something that's photorealistic. We want to end with something that's photorealistic. It's not like with the t-shirt design, we wanted a graphic, a vector graphic. We want something photorealistic here. So I'm going to choose that style. I have that one here, uh, realistic with negative. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and click on uh, this little button here again and it puts in everything that we need. And so I'm gonna just go ahead and click on generate. And boom, about three seconds later, we have an amazing image here, a completely different person wearing the t-shirt. There are some blemishes here. There's some stuff going on here that, that's a little bit messed up. That's okay, we could fix that. And there's some stuff going on on our collarbone up here, but that's okay, we could fix that as well. We have a brand new image. This is absolutely amazing what we just created here. And we just did that with a click of a button. Now let's say we wanna have a bunch of variations of these. Let's say we want, uh, you know, eight variations. Let's go ahead and go eight variations. We'll scroll down and we're going to go to batch size and we're going to go 
to eight. We're going to create eight of these because I want to see what they come out. I want to see you know, a good variation of them. I mean, a lot of mockups, right? So click on generate again. All right, let's check it out. What do we get over here? Let's go all the way to the beginning and see where our grid is at. Can't find it. These are, these are some good ones. The grid's right there. Some really, really good ones here. So many. Look, she even has her head tilted in a different direction here. Um, she has some little clown face going on there. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why this one turned out that way, but whatever. Um, but there's a lot of them. Let's just go one by one and check some of them out. I like that. Look at this. She has some tattoos. They modified the shirt a little bit, but whatever. It's cool. It gives it's, it's some graphics. It looks cool, right? You could create a cartoon out of this. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you how to do that. That's going to be the next thing that I'm going to show you here in Hubcart. Oh, I like her. I like her little puffy hair. I like that she's got the shoulder pads on. She's wearing it over the shirt with this little collar thing and a cape coming down here. She's got some little weird stuff going on in the hands right there, but that's okay. We could fix that. I really, really like that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to keep this one. Let's go. Where, where was it at? Are we gonna... All right, so over here in the in-painting tab, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the in-paint and I'm just going to cover up this little section of her that is a little messed up. And then I'm going to uh, leave nothing actually in the prompt. I'm just going to leave it exactly as it is. And just want to make sure that we're in painting the right area. In paint mast, in paint mast. That's good. So we're going to go ahead and click on generate. And let's see what it comes up with to replace that area. I think it looks a little bit better. It looks a little bit better in there. There's some, some other stuff going on, but it definitely looks better her hands aren't all messed up now there's this little area in here right here we could fix if we really wanted to um, but but i'm satisfied for that with that for now i think i sh i basically showed what we wanted to show here all right so now let's do something a little bit different let's erase this and let's blow it up and let's just go around the outside right here just as close as we can to the edge we can overlap it a little bit if we need to and just cover up that outside and then let's do the same thing over here let's cover all around here and that galaxy look that we were trying to get earlier that we didn't get i'm going to try to get it again now and come up here and then that should be good we would get our blur we'll make our blur pretty big here we'll go up to like 30 and then um i think we're gonna go ahead and just run with that we're gonna put uh, in brackets like this, we're going to put in a dark galaxy with contrasting reds and purples. And then I'm going to close that up with another double bra bracket and open up another one and say deep space or something like that to really emphasize what we want in that background. And then we want in paint masked that's exactly what we want we have to make sure our denoising is set correctly down here denoising is going to be what we choose to make it how close we want it to the original and we don't want a white background right there we don't want that at all so we're going to bring our denoising um, actually all the way up to one we're going to bring that all the way up to one so that it's nothing like the original image so i'm going to go ahead and click on generate all right, check them out. We got our four images. Let's just look at them one by one by scrolling down here. Looks good there. I like that one. Looks good. Now these other images in between, just ignore those. Those are just different mask images that we use for different purposes. But these are all looking good. We have to go back and change that hand, it looks like. I don't know what hand. Oh, we didn't. We never fixed this hand in the first place. Uh, so what we could have did is we could have just fixed that hand there. Uh, we did it in the first time, and then we erased it. So the image that we're modifying now didn't have the fixed hand. So we could go ahead and do that. We could keep one of these images and then fix the hand again. Um, and then we have an amazing image. I mean, that was so cool. We, we started off with a very basic... A uh, girl that had basic hair, basic white background, and now she's got this nice vibrant hair. She's got these shields on. Uh, she's got this monkey hand, but we, I showed you that we could fix that. We put her into a great background there. We could make that background more vibrant by uh, highlighting our keywords over here. But uh, good, good stuff there. Anyways, let's move on to the next one. 
is another cool trick. I love this trick. You know, I, I feel for minorities, for minority races, here, especially here in the United States or even worldwide. If you're watching this worldwide and you're trying to get a certain image of a certain race of person and you just can't get it because it's just not available, I, I feel that that's unfortunate. But with AI, you could actually create the item as a specific race. So what I'm going to do is I have this guy over in my image to image tab and I'm going to take him over to inpaint by clicking on this inpaint again. It brings him over here. And what I want to do is I just want to click on his face, inpaint his face, his arms, his arms. And then I'm going to come down where we're going to select inpaint masked. We want to make sure that that's selected. And uh, we don't need such a big mask blur, but we're going to leave that. We're just going to leave everything else as is and we want this realistic so we're going to say uh first put in our prompt make him uh we'll say african american we'll use proper proper terminology here i could have just said make him black if i wanted to um it knows ai knows um, or we could say make make him from india or what we you know whatever mention a na nation that you want or wh whatever you want um we want this realistic so i'm going to choose my realistic prompts i'm going to go ahead and save that here and then I'm going to go ahead and click on generate. Check it out. We got him. We got a little brother here. He's got his, uh, you know, he's holding up the, the sleeves. He actually got his sleeves pulled down. You know, this dude's got some tattoos showing, but, but uh, our, our brother here, he doesn't. He's got his little bracelets on. He's got his sleeves pulled up, wearing it properly. Face is a little off. I don't know if I checked the checkbox for fixing the face. No, I did not. So for face restoration, we really want to make sure that that's selected. It makes an, a dramatic difference. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to scroll down to batch one just so we can do it fast. Check to uh, restore faces again. Go ahead and click on generate. And let's do this again. Bring up another good one. Boom. Look, his face looks better already. You know, that's, that's clean. I mean, look, you could even see like little pores going on in his face. And if I'm going to upscale this, we could upscale this and this will look absolutely amazing. All right, you guys, this is getting better and better, right? I mean, I told you I'm going to start off with basic and we're going to get freaking mind blowing. You can't tell me that your mind isn't blown from that one. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for what's ahead. You could follow along at hubcart.ai. Check out the video that we have here. Read the page. We're going to continue, continue to build this page out because we have so much more that we can add here. And so just follow us along and hope to see you on the inside.